Hey everybody, Bill Zorman from InternetMarketingWizard.com here and this video today is going to give you an inside look at one of the autoresponder follow-up series we have set up for one of our niche sites. And basically, I just want to go through a little bit of how we set up this particular autoresponder series. Just give you a few tips and techniques, um, show you that it's not real difficult to set up and I really think that this is one of the key things that you need to do if you're setting up niche sites. You have to collect subscribers. You have to set up an autoresponder series. Um, you have to collect those emails to follow up with them. So as you can see here right off the bat, we do have quite a few emails on this series. I think in the end we have about 32, I think, 30, 33 emails. Um, all in all, I think it lasts about three and a half months or so. Um, so they do get emails for quite a, a bit of time. And uh, I guess I'm going to start off real quick with just showing you um, one thing that I like to do with this particular niche, this particular uh, website, is that the subject lines, if you notice right away, a lot of them do have the first name and the subject lines. Uh, this is because over the course of time, we kind of realized that when we include that first name in the subject line, the open rates seem to be a lot higher. So we do try to keep that first name in the subject line in a majority of the emails, not every single one. Uh, we don't want to uh, overdo it, but you know we do have it on the first two here, the fourth one, the sixth one. Um, so that, that's one thing I wanted to show you that, that we found to be effective in this particular niche. You have to test this yourself. Um, you'll get to know your list and your subscribers as time goes on. You just kind of have to experiment and see what works and what doesn't. Um, and the next thing I want to show you is how we order the emails. Um, the first email, as you can see here, is titled, Welcome, First Name, Watch Your First Free Video. The, the, uh, the bait to opt in to this particular list is a free video. So what we want to do first thing is deliver that free video and that's what we do. Um, that's what we promised so we want to deliver that and we want to gain some trust with a subscriber so they know that you know we want to uh, deliver some content to them. We're not just trying to pitch them product after product. Okay. Um, the second email is again more content. We send them another video. Okay. A powerful exercise for your cheeks. Um, Again, this one's coming two days after the first email. So we could send that the very next day. Some people do do that. It really depends on you know uh, your strategy, I guess. But um, you know, we we still haven't hard pitched the product yet. Now, when you do, when you when our visitors do watch these videos, we do have a soft sell on that blog post. So when they watch that video they do see a link or a banner to the product that we're selling underneath the video but you know the main purpose of these first two emails is the video is the content um, now the, the third email is uh, insane fa face transformation from the 37 year old guy from australia now that's just bringing some social proof it's a testimonial that we got from a customer uh, just to show our subscribers that the product does work and it's valuable um, we still haven't hard given them a hard sell yet. As you can see, this is the third email. Now we're giving them a testimonial to kind of warm them up even more. And then on the fourth email is first name. This is too good to pass up. This is going to be the hard sell uh, where we go into you know all the benefits and features of the pro of the uh, of the product, mostly the benefits. Um, and on that particular email is a link right to the sales page. Uh, moving on, I'm just gonna go over like the first 10 emails or so. I think when you first create a list and an autoresponder series, you really only need to start with seven to 10 emails. Don't think that you need you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 follow-ups. You, you can add as you go. But I think to start off, seven to 10 is a good number. Um, and then, you know, like I said, you can see out of those seven or 10, which are doing well, which ones are pe people are opening, uh, which ones people are clicking through, and hopefully by then you'll start to broadcast to your list already as well. 
you got to kind of get the uh, an idea of what they respond to, what they like, what you know, what kind of content they want to see, and then from there you can continue to add emails to your autoresponder series and move them around, um, you know, uh, just to kind of test things, see how it goes. So after that hard sell, the fourth email, the fifth email is more content. Okay, this is a sneaky trick series that we started, so as you can see here, sneaky trick one, sneaky trick two. Uh, sneaky trick three, I think, is down here. Uh, there's seven of those in total, I think. People really like that content. Um, so uh, we did, you know, spend quite a bit of money on getting that created. Or you just can create it yourself, you know, however you want to do it. But you want to make the content valuable. You don't want to just rehash stuff that's already out there. Um, so that's the fifth email here is content. Now the sixth email is another hard sell. Okay, um, this one is actually a, um, a special offer that we give. It's about a 50% discount on the product. And the, the subject line here is, first name, you must read this email, it's time sensitive. The reason it's time sensitive is we do use our page expiration robot plugin on that special offer page. So once the visitor clicks through on that email and goes to the special offer sales page, they're going to see this, the 50% discount on the product and we do have page expiration robot running on that sales page and they have 24 hours to purchase that and we, um, we do have that expire by IP address so if they don't purchase within 24 hours they can't get back to it. Um, now hopefully what this does is if they do try to go back to it and they can't um, it gives it even more trust into us and next time we offer a, a special offer I think that the, the visitor believes it and they don't they they don't think that we're just kind of you know BSing them and saying oh it's time limited um, it, we really do mean it's, you only have 24 hours so moving on here um, the next few emails is, is more content uh, it's another free video and email seven email eight is more content it's another article sneaky trick number two um, this one's about uh, food additives and uh, how to you know to avoid them and then email nine is actually an interesting email um, this one's titled hey first name I'm just curious now what this email is is it asks them um, you know you've been on our subscribers list you seem to enjoy our content. What's holding you back from from taking that next step and purchasing our product? And believe it or not, we do get a lot of responses to that, and people will reply back why they you know they haven't purchased yet. Um, you know they'll say, oh, I don't I don't know if it'll work for me, or I don't have the money yet, or it's expensive. So it's good that we're getting that kind of feedback from our subscribers and from our visitors to kind of get to know your customer more because that's the goal you know is that you want to get to know your customer so you can give them what they want and give them what they need um, let's see here if next couple emails this is another testimonial uh, it's another video now starting email 12 we give them this is uh, three more uh, video exercises that they um, that pe that's what people really want for, for our um, for this product is, is they're looking for exercise videos and uh, that's their favorite that's what people are always asking for so you know we kind of waited until the 12th email to give them a bunch more exercises now you know they haven't purchased yet so you know we want to give them more exercises to kind of uh, get a feel more for the product and what it can do for them if that makes any sense but one thing I do want to bring up that I think is pretty important is that even these emails that, um, that are pure content, we, we keep the content on our website. We don't, you, we usually keep the emails fairly short. We tell them what we want them to learn or what they're going to discover or, you know, what the content's going to be about. And then we have a link for them to click through to the blog. Okay, we, we try to keep most of the content on the website. And you know, we try to get them to click something on every single email. Um, and we do, in just about every case, have some type of banner or link to our product on those, those um, content pages on the website. But, you know, it's not in their face flashy, you know, type stuff. It's just maybe a link at the end or a banner in the middle. 
And um, you know, these are more soft sell type stuff. Um, Cause like I said, you know, we only really hard, uh, given the hard sell on the fourth email. And then again on the sixth email, um, I think the next time we give them a hard sell is not until email 16. Okay. This is um, first name. Thank you. Um, what this is, is the start of, um, we're using Frank Kern's four day cash machine here where we send them an email every day for four days to, um, to give them a special offer on the product. And here we, 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 we again, give it a big discount. Um, and actually John talked more about this in a webinar that when it is up, I will link to it from our blog post here so you can read more about that. But um, basically what, what it is, is we send a, an email every day for four days with a special offer um, on, uh, on our product for a big discount. And we only, you know, we, we limit it to, to, they only have four days. Again, we use page expiration robot to, uh, to put a countdown on that sales page. And every day we send them an email reminding them of the special offer that's running um, and reminding them that they only have a limited, a limited time to grab the offer at the big discount. So that's really it. I, you know, I just wanted to go over a few key things, um, you know, uh, that I think maybe a lot of people are a little confused with, or, you know, this isn't really rocket science. You just kind of have to get, get your autoresponder series up, start testing things and see how it goes. You know, again, your, your big takeaways from this are the subject line. You want to get to know, get to know what, what emails your, your customers or your subscribers are opening. Um, in our case, they seem to open a lot of emails where their first name is in the subject line. So we add that to quite a bit of the emails. Um, we don't hard sell them too often. You know, like I said, we hard, uh, it's on email four, then six, and then not again until 16. I mean, some people will say it's not enough. I think a lot of people will probably say that. This particular um, product, um, we kind of feel like we need to warm, up, warm them up a lot more, I guess. Um, you could try more hard sells, but like I said, we do you know, have links to the product in the content that they read. So on all these other emails that, that they're, not get, they're not getting the hard sell, when they click through to the content on the website, they're still getting you know, that link to the product in front of them so that they can click through to see the product sales page. Um, try and show social proof early. That's another thing that we really like to do. You know, we have it here on email three, um, a really nice testimonial. We have another one here in email 10. And that's really it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, summarize some of these points on the uh, post and hopefully help some of you guys out with uh, your autoresponder series. Talk to you soon, thanks.